Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? It's time again for another knife of the day. This is the series where I go through my collection one knife at a time, one day at a time. There are over 200 knives on the playlist for this series. Go check it out on this channel. The knife of the day today is the Sprint Run Discontinued Spydeco Military with the 5200 steel and the carbon handle. Yeah, this is a sprint run. Sprint runs are about a thousand knives, limited edition knives from Spydeco, plus or minus 200 or so. And when they're gone, they're gone, and then you can pick them up on the secondary uh, market marked up a bit because they know they're limited and they're discontinued. This is one of them. Earlier on, I talked about the Spydeco Paramilitary 2 that was rocking the 52100 steel. Now we have the Big Daddy, the military. 52100 steel, a lot of people call it the ball bearing steel because that's what it's used for. A lot of blacksmiths love this steel to forge it into knives and other things. Very, very, very tough, tough steel, wear resistant. By the way, as, as you can tell, and this is a collector's knife, I haven't tested it. <laughs> Go on YouTube, someone beat the hell out of their knife. I'm not gonna beat the hell out of mine. But these are definitely the characteristics of this steel. Look it up. Very strong, wears very well, keeps an edge very, very well. Here's the one thing you have to know, and these are really sought after knives, both the paramilitary two and this military, that it is not a stainless steel which means it can rust on you. You need to take care of it. You need to wipe it down and make sure you're taking care of it. It is not a stainless steel. Sometimes I hear from people who say, well, why would I want a stainless steel? Or I hear from people saying, hey, I live by the water. I need a stainless steel. All great. I get it. Um, but a lot of people like these kinds of characteristics and are willing to forgo the stainless steel and um, wipe it down and make sure that they take care of it so it doesn't rust. What a nice paramilitary too. It just feels so great in the hand. Four inch blade. Of course it has the forward choil. This is more of a 20% of it is steel, 80% of it is handle. The blade 3.7 inches for the edge of the blade. The cutting edge, 3.7 inches. The military is a wonderful knife. It's just a big one. It is a biggie. I have a number of militaries on the playlist and several more coming your way before we wrap up the Spydeco portion of my collection with all kinds of different steels and different treatments for the scales. Big knife. That's why the paramilitary two was asked for and Spydeco delivered it and then even after the paramilitary two people said ah, I want something like three inches there you go with the pair of three that was released the total length of this knife is 9.5 inches and it weighs 4.1 ounces that's why it's so popular it's a big knife if you like big knives the military is just a wonderful knife it's so smooth it's so wonderful and if you like varieties of steel, I love variety of steels. You might want to try the one with the ball bearing, 52100, 52100. People sometimes say, you talk about that, and first you say it's discontinued. It's still available. You can find it a lot of places. It's not at the original price, but you still can. Uh, the military, this is carbon fiber peel ply according to Spydeco. You have a little rougher 
carbon fiber scales gives you a little bit more grip but still looks pretty the large lanyard hole the liner lock this one is just smooth and so well done it really is embedded liners stainless steel liners inside that are skeletonized the cut down on the weight the military a lot of the militaries you know it has one clip the standard clip and that's only right hand tip down someone commented a couple of days by the way the comments have just been great some of them correcting the mistakes that I should have corrected and I appreciate that so check the comment sections of some of those knives in the playlist uh, they help to update but also someone asked said you know I like Spyderco I'm getting a little tired of the hole that's legit and also all the holes they drill in three holes to put clips everywhere for variety and I have to tell you I agree I know I I prefer tip up but it's not a deal breaker for me anytime you know I have militaries I'm okay with the tip down um, I understand if you're a lefty I'm not a lefty <laughs> But a lot of Spyderco knives, I think the vast majority of them, and not just the older ones, they give you a clip right hand, left hand. And as Eric Glesser has been saying, and you probably have noticed if you bought a new Spyderco lately, except for this military, <laughs> um, a lot of times they they have seen people send back knives that have problems and notice that people have switched the clip because they used to come tipped down and so now you see a lot of new knives because they see that trend have being tip up but a lot of knives you'll see right hand left hand tip up only which means this area is not destroyed <laughs> by all the holes sometimes that drives me crazy especially when they have a steel bolster or some kind of bolster <coughs> and they ruin that great look with the holes enough about the holes see-through construction easy to clean just a solid knife hey it's a spyderco classic and with this great new steel it's really nice this my friends is the sprint run discontinued Spyderco Military, it's rocking the ball bearing steel. Yeah, 52100 steel. It is discontinued but still available on the secondary market. I want to compare it with the Paramilitary 2 and the Endura, two other classics. They give you a good sense of the size of the knife and the blade. Hey, you guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you like the knife of the day, please show me your likes. Thumb it up on YouTube. It just keeps me going. Don't forget to subscribe. That really helps out. And turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the videos. We do this series Monday through Friday on real time. <laughs> and as soon as I get new knives, I put them up as well as part of the knives of the day. You guys have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.